Hello everyone and welcome to Vedic Vidada. So we are meeting like kind of around a year later and uh, we are continuing our session on understanding ascendance. So we started from Sagittarius ascendance that is number 9. Zodiac number 9, Rashi number 9, we started from it. Uh, we discussed uh, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini. So today I am back with uh, Cancer Ascendant. So we are starting with Moon. We started from Jupiter, from the Moon Lakshatras Rashi, made uh, understood from 9th to uh, Gemini, that is 3. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. And now we are again starting from Moon's uh, Zodiac and continuing our journey. So let's talk about Cancer Ascendants. First of all, uh, Moon is the Lord of Night. Just like Sun being the Lord of Morning, Moon is the Lord of Night. And when we talk about Cancer, the first thing we come to know that it is the only zodiac which has Lord as Moon. And what does Moon govern? Moon governs peace of mind, mental capability. There are many astrologers who tend to say that Moon is your uh, mental strength. But in my view, Moon is more of your uh, mental calmness, your control over the mind. So the strength of mind is inside the control of mind. If you have a strengthful mind, your power of mind lies in how calm your mind can be. May it be in different situations, may in different time. Okay. So, the first primary uh, aspect of cancer is watch for the moon. If you are a cancer ascendant, uh, moon is going to be very very crucial in your chart because only for cancer and leo ascendants that is for moon and sun there are one one zodiac otherwise you have two zodiac for each planet okay so moon is going to be your governing factor just as important as your lagna that is the ascendant would be the house in which your moon is placed so if you are a cancer ascendant you have, you also have to see where your moon is placed because as much important as uh, your uh, lagna is your first house is the same importance would be given to the house of your moon this this is only for cancer ascendant and leo ascendant for leo ascendant it is uh, sun's house okay for Cancer Ascendant, it is the Moon's house. So, let's talk about the first governing factor. The first of, first, first and foremost, if Cancer, you are a Cancer Ascendant, you are going to have amazing skin. You might be sensitive uh, to some uh, allergies or, let's not talk uh, allergies, but your skin might be sensitive. So, you must have to take care about uh, uh, things that do not harm your skin, harmful chemicals like that. Otherwise, your skin would be very good you would have uh, bright colors okay uh, uh, like your skin would be bright and radiant i'm not talking about uh, color okay because uh, if you are born in different parts of the country according to weather the skin might change but still if you are in africa born in africa you are a cancer ascendant even though your skin is dark it would be radiant and shiny okay if you are in uh, usa it must be white but still it would be radiant and shiny no dull skin your skin would be full of moisturized full of moisture okay until and unless your moon is debilitated okay or it is in the eighth house otherwise your skin would be very good very very good if your moon is in eighth house and you are cancer ascendant sorry yeah, there must be very troublesome time for your skin and your mind Otherwise, uh, it is a very good thing to have uh, be a cancer ascendant. Okay. So, the person would be uh, uh, diligent in solving problems. He would have that calmness inside him if the moon is good. If the moon is bad, again, there would be uh, too much of unsteady behavior. But in both the cases, moon is going to impact a lot. Okay. And you would be either uh, interested in eating new varieties of food. You might also be a very good singer. 
okay so you would be interested in art so like you uh, a pattern of art you can say because the friend of moon is venus so if you are a cancer ascendant you would love venus in arts like any of the venus in arts may it be drawing may it be uh, what you say eating food okay taste uh, dressing up smelling good cosmetic items okay having sex okay these all the venusian arts would be very good uh, you, you would be fond of the venusian arts okay so the rajas quality would be higher inside you okay except see except the moon is debilitated your lagnes is debilitated or it is in 12th house you would be a pattern of art and you would have a more of a rajas quality the one who enjoys life okay now as we move to the second house the second house becomes leo okay so as soon as the second house becomes leo again sun is governing the second house okay so you would be uh, more of a decisive person in uh, getting your money from okay so where you are getting your income how you are getting your money okay these are the things you think a lot about okay uh, mostly uh, if you see cancer ascendants are not people who would like uh, money coming from anybody okay they would have specific sources of money they would like okay i want money from this area and i want this type of money okay they would not be like okay I, it's okay for me to do a, a robbery and get money okay it is very rare okay only if the sun is debilitated it can be such otherwise you would uh, see how and where your money is coming from moreover you would be very lucky in terms of your father okay your father would be a, 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 a very lucky person it might be possible uh, that you may lose your father early in your life may not in all the senses but it may possible out of uh, uh, 100 there might be 70 cases or 75 cases that you might lose your father earlier okay in the early phase of life okay if you are a girl uh, before marriage maybe 75 cases i may, i i may not say that is it's always the case but in 75 of the cases out of 100 25 of the cases are there still okay and sun being uh, the lord in the second house is again uh, it might give you government job it might give you some respectable position where you are working so you might also love being in uh, socially active while you are gaining money okay you don't like back seat job otherwise you would prefer uh, you would prefer jobs or work where you are out front okay next again uh, coming to the third house uh, when we talk about third house it becomes sixth that is virgo okay so very good at communication 90% of the cases cancer ascendant are very good at communication skills either they are very soft spoken or they are very uh, um, what you say diplomatic while talking they have uh, smart selection of words okay they would know uh, when to speak what and what to speak where okay when to speak what and when what to speak where this is a uh, art which cancer ascendants always have in 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 which circumstances you should speak in which tone okay so uh, the tonal quality when to change the tone okay these are the things that the cancer ascendant people are very good at some people use it in a bad way some people use it in a good way some people use it in a manipulative way some people use it in a very good way they don't manipulate with things but yes if you are cancer ascendant i would surely say you are having good command in communication yes miscommunication is some another aspect but yes if mercury is good you would use that uh, communicating skill for gaining financial freedom for uh, gaining comfort in society and if mercury is not good placed with not good planets then you might use that skill in bad aspects like manipulating people okay cheating people okay so cancer ascendants with bad men uh, with bad mercury may be cheats but if you have a good mercury and you are a cancer ascendant you might use your uh, speaking skills at the most okay so this is one more quality coming to the fourth house fourth house is libra and this is a very very good thing see libra lord is venus 
and venus is dibal in fourth house okay so having the sign of libra in fourth house is very good actually okay having the sign of libra in first house 10th house 7th house is okay not so good but if you have the sign of libra or taurus in your fourth house which means you would have lot of love and affection either through the family or from the family okay now how to find out either it is through the family or from the family check this is the axis okay the first house is over here the seventh house is over here then we go to the second house third house fourth house fifth house sixth house and seventh house okay so if your venus is placed from first house to seventh house okay then you are getting affection from the family if your venus is placed from seventh house to twelfth house then you are giving your affection to the family now see this is the case only for cancer ascendants if you are a cancer ascendant and if your venus is placed either in the first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh house okay then you are getting affection and love from the family and if your venus is placed in 7th 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th house then you are giving affection to the family okay this is for cancer ascendants specifically okay so this is one more thing you can check it out if you are a cancer ascendant and again venus is the planet of love affection and creativity so you might have some uh, creative person in your family like your mother might be creative or your father might be creative now how to find out see check the planet check the degrees of venus okay after checking the degree of venus see if which planet is the closest to the degree of venus might be a before or after say for example venus is in uh, uh 10 degrees okay so and and you have moon in 11 degrees so your mother would be creative in nature okay but if your moon is in 12 degrees and your sun is in 9 degrees then sun is more near to the venus so your father would be creative okay so whichever planet is more near to venus being a cancer ascendant okay that planet's personality inside your family would be a creative personality if it is moon your mother is creative it is if it is sun your father is creative okay if it is uh, mercury your siblings may be creative getting my point if it is mars your uh, paternal cousins might be creative okay or your elder brother might be creative getting it if it is saturn okay your maternal cousins any of them might be a creative person so this is how you check it from the fourth house moving to the fifth house fifth house is scorpio time to be careful now fifth lord being mars is not very good to have children okay so you might face some difficulties in getting children or you might face some delays okay some sort of delays or miscarriages or something like that heat problems okay if you are a girl you might suffer from pcod or some menstrual uh, problems so you must have to take care about mars so the only planet you have to take care if you are a cancer ascendant is mars okay check the placement of mars if mars is placed in ninth house okay then you would be okay then you will be safe because ninth house is the ardala of fifth house okay uh, uh, the concept of ardala we will see in different videos but understand the fact the opposite house to any house is called the ardala of that house okay so ninth house is the ardala of fifth house and if mars is placed in the ninth house then you are safe from this fifth house problem getting my point otherwise there would be 
हंड्रेड परसेंट सम ऑल द अदर प्रॉब्लम रिलेटिंग टू योर रूट चक्र मूलाधार चक्र बॉडी हीट एंगर इश्यूज इम्पेशंस ओके सी इफ इट इज इन द फर्स्ट हाउस यू वुड बी इम्पेशन इफ इट इन इफ इट इज इन द सेकेंड हाउस यू वुड बी स्पेन थ्रिफ्ट ओके इफ इट इज इन द थर्ड हाउस यू हैव अ रैश स्पीक यू वुड यूज फाउल लैंग्वेज ओके इफ इट इज इन द फोर्थ हाउस यू माइट हैव सम फाइट्स इन साइड योर फैमिली इफ इट इज इन द फिफ्थ हाउस इट सेल्फ इट इज अ वेरी बैड कॉम्बिनेशन फॉर हैविंग चिल्ड्रन इफ इट इज इन द सिक्स हाउस देन यू आर क्वाइट सेफ बट स्टिल यू माइट सफर फ्रॉम सम मार्स रिलेटेड इलनेस ओके ब्लड ब्लड डिसऑर्डर्स एट यूरिन डिसऑर्डर्स मे बी ब्लड डिसऑर्डर्स एंड क्लॉटिंग क्लॉटिंग प्रॉब्लम्स ओके यू माइट सफर फ्रॉम जॉन डिस इफ इट इज इन द सेवेंथ हाउस योर स्पाउस माइट बी अ ट्रबल फॉर यू If it is in the eighth house itself, uh, you might suffer from uh, accidents. Okay, ninth house you are safe. Ninth house you are safe. Tenth house. Okay, you might have a good reputation in the society, but inside you might feel tormented. Just to keep your good impression intact, you might feel tormented inside. Otherwise, that is okay. Eleventh house again. In your profession, you might take profession of a doctor or a lawyer or a army man, something like that. But still, it might uh, make your personal life an, a problem. Okay, you might either give too much time in your profession, something like that. Your, so your profession might be a problem for you if it is in the eleventh house. If it is in the twelfth house, there would be sleep disorders. Okay, there might be sleep disorders. and uh, there might be some a uh, problem related to uh, your sex life okay so mars is kind of problem for cancer ascendants until and unless it is either in the 9th house it is okay it is the best placement in the 9th house for cancer ascendant mars after 9th house if you see second best uh, second best placement is 10th house and then comes 6th house and then comes 11th house rest all houses mars is always going to make a problem for cancer ascendant okay so always if you have mars in any of those houses go and worship lord narsimha or whenever you wake up start your day with honey okay and never wear red clothes or you can just wear red clothes on saturday if your mars is highly debilitated next coming to 6th house 6th house is going to be number 9 that is sagittarius sagittarius being in the 6th house is going to give you intestinal problems there you must uh, you may have some digestive issues you might have some uh, gas problems or you might have uh, some uh, sugar problems not sugar sugar problems diabetes occurs when uh, jupiter is connected to 8th house okay it is connected to 6th house which means it might give you some problems related to cholesterol pancreas uh, gall bladder you must take care about the uh, bouncers of the stomach okay i call it bouncer of the stomach see stomach is the villain okay and the bouncer of the stomach is your pancreas and gall bladder okay they both are like uh, the hitman behind your stomach okay like stomach is your villain because the more you eat the faster you die okay so these are two villains is your gall bladder and pancreas so if it is in the 6th house take care of your gall bladder pancreas oily things cholesterol uh, take uh, very good care of cholesterol liver yes liver liver is the first bodyguard and if you have some problems i would suggest you can take uh, some test related to your liver enzymes okay then coming to the 7th house your 7th uh, house will become number 10 that is capricorn okay very good sex life very good sex life after marriage until and unless your saturn is debilitated okay 
or your Saturn is conjoined with Mars or it is conjoined with Moon, you would have very good sex life, especially after marriage. Plus, because you would have the blessings of Kamdev. Plus, uh, people who are uh, low class people in the society, they might be very beneficial for you. Like sweepers, cleaners, clerical staff, those who don't have chair. Okay, jiske paas gaddi nahi hai. Jo niche kaam karne wale log hote hai. Job class people, below job class people, poverty uh, line ke below jo people hote hai. Wo sare people, those people would be very beneficial for you. Whenever you find such people, go and help them and they would uh, definitely help you ahead. Okay. So low class people are going to be a very good aid in your life. Okay. And it is also possible that you marry someone of a lower caste. Lower caste than you. Okay. But overall it is very good for uh, uh, labor class people and such uh, people. And you might be connected with such loyal friends. They would be very loyal friends. Labor class people. Okay. Now coming to 8th house, 8th house is again Aquarius. You see the sign of Aquarius. It is pouring down. Okay. Whatever it is in Aquarius, it is losing. Okay. So Aquarius. So Aquarius is like pouring out. Now, this is good. Some people say it is bad, but I would say it is very good. Especially for Cancer Ascendant. Why? First of all, if there is Saturn in the 8th house, it is throwing Yamraj away. Who is Yamraj? Yamraj is the brother of Shani. Yamraj is the brother of Shani. Yamraj and Shani. Both are the son of Surya. Okay. And Saturn being in the 8th house, may always give you long life. I would say around 90 years you may live. If Saturn is in the 8th house or expecting a 8th house. Okay. So you would live a very long life. But <coughs> since your Aquarius sign is over there, the Lord of Aquarius is also Saturn. Your Saturn is not surrounded by Mars either it is not expected by Mars or not conjoined with Mars then it will always give you a long life okay but you have to strive for it by striving I mean uh, uh, the person you would be very active in nature the more you work the longer you will live okay the more you rest the sooner you will die okay cancer ascendant take a note this is what Rajat is saying take a note 110% if you are a cancer ascendant the more you rest the faster you will die the more you work the longer you will live okay koi bhi shram karo kuch bhi shram karo kaise bhi shram karo pasina bahao aur lambi ayushya le jao ye vardan hai aap logo ke paas okay wherever your Saturn is whichever house your Saturn is until and unless it is expected by Mars or sitting with Mars, wherever it is. Okay. So, this is a very good point. So, it is very good. Keep on working. Keep on living more. Now, let's come to ninth house. Now, ninth house, Pisces. Very good. Again, very good. But, you must indulge yourself into any ritualistic activity whenever you indulge yourself with any ritualistic activity you will surely and hundred percent get benefited from it kisi pi devta ki aap puja karo aap ko sab se easily uska benefit milega cancer ascendant koi bhi mandir pe jao turan aap ko benefit milega baaki sari ascendant ko ye cheezo mein time lagta hai you worship some lord, you worship some deity, it takes time. But if you are a cancer ascendant, you worship any god, 
you worship any god within 15 days or i would say within a week you will see result come okay so this is a very good sign but for that you have to avoid two things in life one is non veg and eggs and uh, second is alcohol avoid these two things in life non veg eggs and alcohol and you will see miracles whenever you go and uh, worship your deity i would say worship three deities check your atma karak the planet with the highest degree see where it is placed in d9 chart navamsha and see which house is uh, before it and what planet is sitting there or what is the lord accordingly worship a deity that is your ishta dev okay next worship your kul devi and third your gram devata wherever uh, you uh, uh, you are sitting wherever uh, your uh, pitrus are sitting okay worship these three deities you will never have problem in life and the fourth one is your anahat deity okay the god you always worship from your heart okay four gods everything will be fine and two restrictions non veg and eggs say no to non veg and eggs say no to alcohol life is sorted bro 110% if you are cancer resident then let's move to the 10th house 10th house is again going to be number 1 that is aries lord of aries is mars so the only thing is going to give you very good impression in the society keep donating blood and you will see miracles happening in your life donate blood as much as blood you can donate donate it and you will see good things are coming bad things are going on good things are coming bad things are going on. okay donate blood blood donation is highly beneficial for you eat gokhru why because gokhru is the only substance that will strengthen your kidneys to clean your blood the more cleaner your blood is the better your health would be the better your vibe would be and the better your social connection would be okay so always remember to keep your kidney strong donate blood okay and you will have very good social connections very good career and good people surrounded by you okay moving to the let's not talk too much about mars over here because we talked too much in the fifth house moving to the 11th house is again number 2 that is venus venus over here is again see for cancer ascendant venus is also in the digbal place fourth house and also in the lab sthan that is the 11th house both the places of venus are very good for cancer ascendant that's why moon is the friend of venus if you see even uh, mars is in digbal in eds okay but for that placement of mars is very necessary mars is also in the uh, bad position in the 5th house also in the good position in the 10th house but venus is always in the good position either being in 4th or in the 7th so venus is always going to benefit cancer ascendants so i have one thing i would surely say that if you want to strengthen your 11th house venus wear diamonds if you are man wear it in your finger if you are a women okay wear it in your ears always wear venus and you will see good things are always coming okay once and for all 100 problems one solution you want lab you want gains wear diamond okay and last but not the least let's talk about 12th house 12th house is all, again going to be gemini now gemini 12th house is going to create one major problem in your life which is business if you are planning to do business you would see uh, setbacks in your life eventually so starting on your business is very going to be easy but as you move forward you would have setbacks losses okay so i would suggest if you are a cancer ascendant please stick to job work don't go into business because business is going to give you very very unpredictable behavior it might give you loss it might give you some uh, setbacks in say your mental uh, situation yes you can do business overseas 
okay foreign businesses you can always take part with but e- e- wherever you are staying go to business over here until and unless until and unless your mercury is sitting in the 6th house okay cancer ascendant mercury in 6th house is only favorable for business okay otherwise don't do business please okay so this was about cancer ascendants uh, we seem to catch after a very long time so i hope i will continue uh, giving this ascendant video and complete uh, the complete series within this week and thank you very much for joining vedic vidara